If you have littles, that fridge is probably filling up fast with all their masterpieces. If only there was a way to have a more permanent keepsake item to display them. Well, there is. You can take any of your child's artwork, vectorize it, and use your laser to mark cups, water bottles, wallets, and more. The process is easier than you may think, so let's get started. The first step is to get your kid's artwork onto your computer. You can do this by scanning it or taking a picture of it with your phone. Once you have your artwork onto your computer, open it into Corel Draw or any other vector-based graphics software. The steps may be different depending on which software you're using, but today I'm going to show you how to do it in Corel Draw version 23. Okay, so I have my image that I took just with my cell phone, brought it in, in, into here into Corel, and I just sized it down to an 8 by 6. Doesn't really matter what size it's at right now. It traces a little easier when it's smaller. So I have my image selected. I'm going to hit Trace Bitmap, go down to Outline Trace, and you'll see I have a few options. My go-to is usually Detailed Logo. This is then going to bring up the power trace menu here and it's going to give me my before, so my original, and then it's going to give me a preview of my after. This is a little zoomed in and that can just happen when it's a cell phone image. So I have my after here and over here on this you can see I can adjust my detail and it'll pick up some more of the details from the original. So I can kind of move these on the sliding scale getting a little more, a little less detail. And then I can also choose back to those original options so I can change it back to line art. It has some smoother lines here. The coloring isn't quite as much as before, but I can still just adjust it to my liking of how I want to have it. So I'll hit OK. And now Corel has given me the vector image of it and still kept my original. And this way I can compare, you know, if it picked up all the lines that I wanted it to. I'm then going to ungroup my vector that it made for me and remove all of that excess background so I get down just to the line drawing. So I've removed all this background and I'm going to select all of the image here and I'm going to turn it to 100% black. This is going to make it the best for lasering. These simple lines and shapes and letters are going to be the easiest kind of things to trace. I can kind of zoom in, see if I want to remove any of the extras that I may have missed or leave them filled in. I now have the vector image that I can size and resize to any size that I want depending on what template I'm going to put it on. I can group it all as one image and move it. or having it ungrouped, I can kind of pick and choose which parts of it I want to use. So now that I have it traced and ready to go, I'm going to bring it into my 20 ounce cup template. I've down downloaded this from our JDS website. So I will take my art, size it to be on one side of the mug here. And then I will take just some simple text that I have typed up here. Place that on the other side, and now I'm ready to engrave my double-sided cup. With the power of vectorization and laser engraving, you can turn your child's artwork into a unique everyday item or a keepsake that'll last a lifetime. So why not turn your child's creativity into a tangible expression of love and appreciation for Mother's Day? Start vectorizing today and make every gift a work of art. Thanks for watching.